Okay, <clears throat> here we are at the Brown Hive. And this is going to be another one just a, just a welfare check. Got some activity in the front. So I left, the last time I inspected all the all the established hives, I left thinking we we're going to see a real population boom in all three of them in really short order. And on the previous two, it was not as dramatic as I expected, although I don't have the sense that any of the hives are in trouble for any reason. Uh, so we'll just see how they're doing this week. I saw one beekeeper who always keeps the smoker between his knees. I don't think I have the dexterity to manage that. Okay, now I do see a pest that I've not seen before. I see some, some really big ants, maybe carpenter ants. They're staying on the bottom and in the crevices. All right, this, uh, we've got six frames. Some of them are quite new, as we saw in the other hives. So this one is about half drawn. It's probably donated to this, uh, to this colony from one of the others at some point for some reason. It appears to be completely empty. There's a few frames, a few bees on it, cleaning it up. I think it had honey, and there's like, I see a small number of, of cat cells on it that they haven't done anything with. Frame five is a new frame. They've not started doing anything with it yet. Frame four. This is one of those that I'm trying to work out of production this year because it's got it's double layered. You've got this one sheet on one side and another sheet on another side and space in between that I can't access. So I'm going to continue to try to encourage them to stop using this one. Right now I see brood, I see some honey or some nectar, some pollen, and there is that entire layer in between where I can't really see what goes on in there. And on this side, I see not much. A little bit of nectar store, a little bit of pollen store, but mostly empty. And if there are eggs there, I can't really see them. what I'm going to do to try to get them to draw out additional frames and to stop using that. I'm going to put that empty frame in between these two frames. I don't like having an undrawn frame in between brood, uh, brood areas, although that one's really not a... Yeah, there was some brood on that on one side. So maybe that'll help them draw out another one and as I move it further and further back in the, in the hive, eventually they'll stop using it and I can take it out of production. Alright, here I see eggs and I see larvae, capped and uncapped. I'm looking for a queen. The queen in here should be marked. I see a couple of cells that I think must be drone, drones laid in worker size cells. Either, if they're not that, then they are queen cells, but they don't look big enough for queen cells. So I, I think that's just uh, some drones where they didn't have 
grown cone. Don't know why they didn't just make some grown cone. They've got plenty of space to do that. Okay, so what did I say? We've got some brood, some eggs. Seem to have enough resources, although as we've seen with the others, it's not like they are storing up in abundance yet. to frame two. Frame two is a new frame. And I'm going to be real gentle here. They're just working on drawing that out. This is called festooning. And the bees use that to get kind of a straight line uh, to join comb together and to extend it further down. They let gravity tell them what's straight. And frame one. Don't know where the queen is here, but I've seen enough eggs and larva to know we've got one. Uh, so here we've got, they're working on adding comb to this. And I'm just going to push this right back up against the edge. And that's all we need to know here. There's not as much population in here as I would have liked to have seen. But it does look like we're working at drawing out the, the new comb that I've given them. They have the brood they need. smoking some to get bees out of the crevices. Keep the hive tool outside on this one because sometimes I have to use it to pry this tight fitting lid. All right. Next stop is the cutout cutout colony. I passed by them to get here. They've got plenty of activity, so they stayed around for me. We'll see if they are in the same kind of mood they were the, the day I worked with them before. <laughs> 